Okay, welcome back. We are on to part four. So you can see in our project here, we put a title in, we brought in a still image, did a voiceover, that still image or a narration. Um, we captured a little video from our webcam or from our document cam, did a little voiceover on that. Um, now I want to uh, sort of finish this up, put some titles, a uh, title at the end or credits, and maybe uh, work with some music, some background music, or maybe just some bumper music, some bumper, a uh, little bit of music on the front, a little bit of music on the end, just to sort of make it a little nicer. So um, once I've got a, I've got going here, I might want to zoom out a bit so I can see a little bit more what's going on. So you can see, um, I can drag this slider up here to adjust the size of the thumbnails. There is another slider down here. Um, along the bottom, and you can ex you can see it says drag to adjust number of frames per thumbnail, which means um, if I want these things to be stretched out, so for, uh, I can move two. There's five frames per second. That's ten frames per second, or I mean, one thumbnail for each of ten seconds for each section of ten seconds. So um, that helps me zoom. It's kind of a way of zooming out a little, sort of different way than this little one, um, but you can play around with those. All right, so I can see that my total project so far, down here at the bottom, it says I've got two minutes total. All right, so I want to add a title at the end here. Um, just up here in the properties bar, press that little title tool, and um, I'm just going to put a really simple one on, so just drag and drop that one in, and I'll put it over the same color background and something like uh, thanks for watching and maybe the subtitle can say study hard okay so you can get more creative than that if you'd like and you can see I finish it up now it shows up down here on this little snippet I can make that longer or shorter as I please but I'm going to close that off um, now, it might be kind of nice to have a little bit of um, music at the first to just to, to, to make that a little nicer. So, um, there's a little over here in the uh, media browser, you can see there's a little button that says a little music on it. So, you can access your entire um, iTunes library, but iMovie comes with its own set of sound effects. So, you can see there's a, a few sound effects there. All right. Now, in this case, I don't need a sound effect. I want some music. So um, you can see there's iLive sound effects, and in there, under under those sound effects, there are, say, let's go to um, jingles. There are some short little music clips. So let's go find just a short one. Okay. So we're looking for a little video clip here. Not a video clip. A little piece of audio that I can add to my project to make it sound a little nicer. Um, you can hear that in there. Let's just see what else we got. Now, if you can't find the exact one, okay, so there's a little nine second piece. So I want that nine second piece right here at the start. So if I drag it in to drop it, I want to drop it right on top of the title. If I don't drop it on one of these clips, iMovie thinks it wants to be the background audio for the whole clip, which is not what I want. I'm going to drop it right on top of this first clip, and you can see when I do that, it becomes this little piece that I can slide and adjust. Okay. So there's my um, intro music, and I would like it to fade out when I start talking here. So if I open up uh, my audio adjustments, um, I can say I want this to fade in and it's automatically fading out but just over a couple seconds so manually I want it to just fade out I want it to fade out a little slower maybe alright so I can go to the end there the tool that measures temperature is the thermometer just so that it doesn't uh, it's not too loud for when I when I start talking okay so there is a little um, audio piece at the start there and I can slide it around to decide when it when it begins. Okay, if I need to change how long it is, maybe it's too long. You can see there is a clip trimmer that, that I can come up and say, ah, that's a little bit too long. I can shorten it up um, a little bit or a lot. Okay, so now it's much shorter. 
comes in much shorter there and I could stretch it back out if I needed to. So you can see how easy that is to do. Okay, so these audio clips you can grab the ends of them to adjust them. Let's put one in here at the end. we we'll just put the same one in. So again, I'm not dropping it on um, out here where it turns green. That's if I want a, if a piece of music that I want to play behind my entire podcast. I'm going to drop it right on this clip and that puts it in as a clip that I can adjust. So this one you notice came in and let's just stretch it out a little bit. I want it to start kind of at the end of the video. And then so I can listen to that. When I listen to that, um, I get a quick little fade in and then it plays. Uh, I have it set, looks like 8.1 seconds right now. And it fades out there at the end. So maybe I want it to, to fade a little bit better more than that. So I can go to um, the audio adjustments. And I want both of these to fade out a little bit longer. So I'm switching both to manual. So it's going to fade in a little over more time. And I think it's too loud. So I'm going to back that down a little bit. OK. All right, so now. I think I have my podcast about finished. Um, I would, um, in this case, listen through to it, listen through a couple times. You can see I don't have enough uh, voice over here, but that's okay. Um, and I've just done the the basics right now. iMovie, of course, is has many more capabilities, but in this case, this is just enough. I just want to learn just enough to start with, so I can actually start creating. Um, a nice, clean, simple podcast title, a little text at the end, a little intro and exit music, and then the actual content that I'm that I want to teach. And I think that's the key here is we focus on the content that we're trying to um, deliver. That's always more important than any fancy effects I can do. In the last part of this tutorial, I'm going to talk about exporting this out and getting a finished product that you can then share.